This is brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual. I like it on both Facebook and YouTube. The Lom people. The Lom people, also known as Boshabanon Loms, Armenian, Bashcha, Georgian, Gypsy, Russian, plus Athari, Hosa, or Armenian Romani. Russian, Armenian Gypsies, Armenian, Armenian Gypsies, or Caucasian Romani. Russian, Caucasian Gypsies, are an ethnic group in historic Armenia. Their Lomovran language is mixed, combining Indo-Aryan and Armenian. History The Lom, like the Don people, are sometimes considered a separate branch of the Proto-Romani people who remained in historic Armenia in the 11th century, while the ancestors of the contemporary Romani migrated further west in the 13th and 14th centuries. The names Dom, Lom, and Rom are likely to have the same origin. See names of the Romani people for details. The Lom is also said to be related to the Lamani people or the Indian Romani. The Lomavran language is also very similar to the Lamania language. Number The exact number of existing Bosha is difficult to determine due to the dispersed and often mostly assimilated nature of the group. Estimates suggest only a few thousand of the people can be found across Armenia and Georgia, while government census reports only 50 living in the former. Distribution Concentrations of Bosha can be found in Yerevan and Jumri in Armenia. Some of the Bosha in Armenia has adopted the Armenian language and assimilated with the larger Armenian population. In Georgia, they live in such cities as Tbilisi, Kutuisi, Apokolaki, and Akalsai. They are noted for such occupations as basket weaving and metalsmithing, which are common among settled Roma. In Turkey, they live in Artven, adopted the Turkish language, and assimilated. Lomavran language Lomavran, Armenian, Lomavran, is a nearly extinct mixed language spoken by the Lom people that arose from language contact between a language related to Romani and Dalmari and the Armenian language. The language is also known as Armenian, Bosa, slash Bosa. Linguistic features. Lacks grammatical gender and has seven grammatical cases. Its grammar is closely related to that of the Erzurum dialect of Armenian, with the vocabulary being almost exclusively Indic. Numerals in the Romani, Dommari, and Lomavran languages, with Hindi and Persian forms for comparison. Mixed language. A mixed language is a language that arises among a bilingual group, typically very abruptly combining aspects of two or more languages, but not deriving primarily from any single language. It differs from a creole or Russian language in that, whereas creole and class pigeons arise from populations trying to indicate a language where they have no fluency, a mixed language arises in a population that is fluent in both of the source languages. Because all languages show some degree of mixing, by containing loan words, it is a matter of controversy whether the concept of a 
Chinese language can meaningfully be distinguished from the contact phenomena of certain languages from the type of contact and borrowing seen in all languages. Scholars debate to what extent language mixture can be distinguished from other mechanisms such as code switching, substrata, or lexical borrowing. Definition. Other terms are more linguistic, so the concept of a mixed language includes hybrid language, contact language, and fusion language. In older usage, jargon was sometimes used in this sense. In some linguists' usage, creoles and pigeons are types of mixed languages, whereas, in others' usage, creoles and pigeons are merely among the kinds of language that might become full-fledged mixed languages. Thomason, 1995 classifies mixed languages into two, cate two categories. Category 1 languages exhibit heavy influence from the dominant group's language in all aspects of structure and grammar as well as lexicon, Winford 171. Category 2 languages show a categorial specificity of the structural borrowing or a uniform borrowing of specific categories, Winford. Mixed language and intertwined language are seemingly interchangeable terms for some researchers. Some use the term intertwining instead of mixing because the former implies mixture of two systems which are not necessarily the same order nor does it suggest replacement of either the lexicon or of the grammatical system, unlike relexification, massive grammatical replacement, and regrammaticalization. The grammar of a mixed language typically comes from a language well known to first generation speakers, which Aaron claims is the language spoken by the mother. This is because of the close relationship between mother and child and the likelihood that the language is spoken by the community at large. Parents DTAL classify an intertwined language as a language that has lexical morphemes from one language and grammatical morphemes from another. This definition does not include midget, which combines French lexical items in specific contexts, but still utilizes free lexical and grammatical items. Matros distinguishes between three types of models for mixed language, language maintenance and language shift, unique and predetermined processes, intertwining, and conventionalization of language mixing patterns. The first model involves the use of one language for heavy substitutions of entire grammatical paradigms or morphology of another language. This is because a speech community will not adopt a new or dominant language, and so adapt their language with grammatical material from the dominant language. Backer, 1997, argues that mixed languages result from mixed populations. Languages intertwine, in that the morphosyntax, provided by female native speakers, mixes with the lexicon of another language, spoken by men, often in a colonialist context. This appears to have been the case with Michif, where European men and Cree, Nakota, and Ojibwe women had offspring who learned a mixture of French and Cree. The third model assumes the gradual loss of the conversational function of language alternation as a means of expressing contrast. In other words, language no longer becomes a means of differentiation between two speech communities as a result of language mixing. Lexical reorientation, according to Matros, is defined as the conscious shifting of the linguistic field that is responsible for encoding meaning or conceptual representations away from the language in which linguistic interaction is normally managed, organized, and processed. Speakers adopt in a sense one linguistic system to express lexical meaning, or symbols, in the Valyrian sense of the term, and another to organize the relations among lexical lexical symbols, as well as within sentences, utterances, and interaction. The result is a split, by source language, between lexicon and grammar. Differentiation with other language mixtures. A mixed language differs from pigeons, reels, and code switching in very fundamental ways. In most cases, mixed language speakers are fluent, even native, speakers of both languages, however, Speakers of Michif, an NV mixed language, are unique in that many are not fluent in both of the source's languages. Pigeons, on the other hand, develop in a situation, usually in the context of trade, where speakers of two, or more, different languages come into contact and need to find some way to communicate with each other. Creoles develop when a pigeon language becomes the first language for young speakers. While Creoles tend to have drastically simplified morphologies, Languages often retain the inflectional complexities of one, or both, of parent languages. For instance, Mishif retains the complexities of its French noun and its pre-verb. It also differs from a 
language that has undergone heavy borrowing, such as Korean, Japanese, and Vietnamese from Chinese, Isina Zenic, English from French, or Maltese from Sicilian slash Italian. Despite the heavy borrowing, the grammar and basic words of the borrowing language remain relatively unchanged, with the borrowed words confined mainly to more abstract or foreign concepts. In the case of Maltese, for example, if verbs borrowed from Italian were inflected using Italian inflectional rules rather than Arabic-derived ones, then Maltese would be a candidate for being a mixed language. Finally, a mixed language differs from code switching, such as Spanglish or Fortunal, in that, once it has developed, the fusion of the source languages is fixed in the grammar and vocabulary, and speakers, the speakers do not need to know the source languages to speak it. But, linguists believe that mixed languages evolve from persistent code switching, with younger generations picking up the code switching, but not necessarily the source languages that generated it. Most portmanteau language names, such as Bangla and Dangla Romani, are not mixed languages, or even examples of code switching, but registers of a language, here French and English, characterized by large numbers of loan words from a second language, here English and Romani. Middle English, the immediate forerunner of modern English, developed from such a situation, incorporating many Norman borrowings into Old English, but it is not considered a mixed language. Proposed examples Michif Michif derives nouns, numerals, definite slash indefinite articles, possessive pronouns, some adverbs, and adjectives from French, while it derives demonstrative, in slash animate, question words, verbs, in slash on makes the agreement with the subject, slash object, and some adverbs, slash verb-like adjectives from three. The three components of Michif generally remain grammatically intact, while the French lexicon and grammar are restricted to noun phrases where nouns occur with a French possessive element or article, i.e. in slash definite, masculine slash feminine, singular slash plural. Further, many speakers of Michif can identify the French and three components of a given sentence, likely from the phonological and morphological features of words. Although the phonological systems of both French and Korean are generally independent in Michif, there is convergence in one, mid-vowel raising, two, sibilant harmony, three, vowel length, e.g. French vowel pairs I slash I and A slash differ in length as in three, and four, instances where the three nasal vowels slash A A slash, slash U slash, and slash I slash occur in the three components. Although this last point of convergence may be due to Ojibwe influence, scholars propose that, in the Métis multilingual community, Métis emerged as a need to symbolize a new social identity. The first unambiguous mention of Métis dates to the 1930s. The Métis of St. Laurent, a tribe of indigenous people in Canada, were made to feel their language was a sign of inferiority by nuns, priests, and other missionaries who insisted that the Métis switch to standard Canadian French. Because missionaries stigmatized Michif French as an inferior, bastardized form of Canadian French, the Métis began to develop a sense of inferiority and shame which they associated with speaking Michif. Although Michif may have arisen as a way for Métis people to identify themselves, it became taboo to speak Michif interethnically. In an attempt to make students unlearn Michif French, some nuns used a token system in which each student was given 10 tokens each week, week and for every use of Michif French, a student would have to surrender a token. Students with the most tokens were rewarded with a prize. Overall, this system did not work. Mednaj Aliut Mednaj Aliut is identified as a mixed language composed of mostly intact systematic components from two typologically and genetically unrelated languages, Aliut and Russian. This mixed language's grammar and lexicon are both largely Aleut in origin, while the finite verb morphology, the whole grammatical subsystem, is primarily of Russian origin. Nonetheless, there are some syntactic patterns with Russian influence and some Aleut features in the finite verb complex such as 1, a topic number agreement pattern, 2, Aleut pronouns with unaccusatives, 3, the Aleut agglutinative tense and number and person slash number pattern in one of two alternative past tense forms. Scholars hypothesize that due to the elaborate Russian and Aleut components of Mednaj Aleut, 
The Aleut slash Russian creoles in which the mixed language arose must have been fluent bilinguals of Aleut and Russian and, therefore, not a pidgin language, that is, imperfect learning is usually a feature in the emergence of a pidgin. Furthermore, some code switching and deliberate decisions likely served as mechanisms for the development of Mednij Aleut, and it is possible that these were motivated by a need for a language that reflected the community's new group identity. Mate. Mate has a Cushitic basic vocabulary and a primarily Bantu grammatical structure. The language also shares some phonological units with languages in the Cushitic phylum, e.g. the voiceless lateral fricative, the voiceless glottal stop, and the voiceless velar fricative that did not occur in Bantu, as well as impacted structures, derivational processes, and the feature of inflectional morphology. However, few productive non-lexical structures in Mate appear derived from Cushitic. G. Thomason, therefore, argued for a classification of Ma'e as a mixed language since it does not have enough Cushitic grammar to be genetically related to the Cushitic language. By contrast, Ma'e has a productive set of inflectional structures derived from Bantu. Ma'e also demonstrates phonological structures derived from Bantu, for instance, the pre-nasalized voice stop slash MBDN slash phonemic tones, the absence of pharyngeal fricatives, labialized dorsal stop, suggestive and red reflex stop, and final time, as well as noun classification, number category, and verb morphology patterns of Bantu. Syntactic and derivational patterns in Ma'e vary between Cushitic and Bantu origins. Some Ma'e constructions used, such as genitive and popular construction, are both from Cushitic and Bantu. These observations, given additional language contact cases like Asia Minor Greek, Anglo-Romani, and Mednij Aliu, suggest that Ma'e arose as a product of massive interference from the Bantu language via intense and intense cultural pressure on the Cushitic speaking community. Media Lengua Media Lengua, also known as Chapi Gimi, Chapi Lengua, Chapi Kipo, Chapunal, Chapa Gimi, or Landishimi. Roughly translated to half language or in between language, is a mixed language that consists of Spanish vocabulary and Ecuadorian Quechua grammar, most conspicuously in its morphology. In terms of vocabulary, almost all lexemes, 89%, including core vocabulary, are of Spanish origin and appear to conform to Quechua phonotactics. Media lengua is one of the few widely acknowledged examples of a bilingual mixed language in both the conventional and narrow linguistic sense because of its split between roots and suffixes. Such extreme and systematic borrowing is only rarely attested, and media lengua is not typically described as a variety of either Quechua or Spanish. Aaron's ETAL lists two languages subsumed under the name Media Lengua, Salcedo Media Lengua and Media Lengua of Saraguro. The northern variety of Media Lengua, found in the province of Imbabura, is commonly referred to as Imbabura Media Lengua. And more specifically, the dialect varieties within the province are known as Pijal Media Lengua and Anglas Media Lengua. Scholars indicate that Media Lengua arose largely by a relaxification mechanism. Context in which the language emerged as an interlanguage involved the presence of acculturated Indians that neither identified with tradi traditional rural Quechua nor with urban Spanish cultures. This is an instance of a language developing from a need for ethnic self identification. Light Warlpuri. Light Warlpuri, seen as a form of Warlpuri by speakers, derives verb and verbal morphology largely from Australian Creole, while nouns are largely from Warlpuri and English and nominal morphology from Warlpuri. Light Warlpuri likely developed as an interlanguage via code mixing between Warlpuri and either Creole or English. This code mixing conventionalized into Light Warlpuri, which is now learned by Lajamana children as a first language, along with Warlpuri. Although light warlpuri is often produced first and used in daily interactions with younger speakers and adults within the Lajamanu community. Light warlpuri is considered a new language for several reasons. 1. Light warlpuri speakers use an auxiliary verb system of that older warlpuri speakers do not while code mixing. 2. Elements are distributed differently in light warlpuri than in code mixing varieties of older warlpuri speakers. 3. Light Warlpuri is a native language, which indicates the stability of the language, and 4.
4. Grammatical structures and lexical items from each source language occur consistently in light warlbury. Karinji Pridol. Karinji Pridol exhibits a structural split between the noun phrase and verb phrase, with Karinji contributing the noun structure including case marking and the verb structure including TAM, tense aspect mood, auxiliaries coming from Pridol. In this respect, Karinji Pridol is classified as a verb noun. VN, mixed language. Other examples of VN mixed languages include Michip and Light Morlpuri. The maintenance of Gurindji within the mixed language can be seen as the perpetuation of Aboriginal identity under massive and continuing cultural incursion. Asia Minor Greek and Cypriot Arabic. Both Cappadocian Greek and Cypriot Maronite Arabic are cases of extreme borrowing, the former from Turkish and the latter from Greek. The remaining Greek dialects of Asia Minor display borrowing of vocabulary, function words, derivational morphology, and some borrowed nominal and verbal inflectional morphology from Turkish. Cypriot Arabic largely shows borrowing of vocabulary, and consequently Greek morphosyntax. These cases, including Modate, differ socially from Michif and Mednaj Aliud because they have evolved out of intense language contact, extensive bilingualism, and strong pressure for speakers to shift to the dominant language. Nonetheless, neither language has an entire grammar and lexicon that is derived from a single historical source and in each case, the linguistic group achieves fluent bilingualism. The social context in which they arose largely distinguishes them from pigeon and creole and, for some scholars, identifies them closely with mixed languages. Tactical Kaish Mayan language. The Tactical Kaish mixed language, also known as the Kaf mixed language or Kaf Mayan, is spoken in the area of Santa Maria Kaf, Santiago Sacatepeque, Department of Sacatepeque, Guatemala. A 1998 study by the Summer Institute of Linguistics, SIL, estimated speaker population at 2000. While the language's grammatical base is from Kaish, its lexicon is supplied by Tactical. Other possible mixed languages are Romani languages such as Aramisola, which derives most of its lexicon from Catharach Romani, but uses Basque grammar and syntax. Both in English, a mix of Japanese and English Creole. Tadal, or Tagdal, a song high based with a majority Tuareg vocabulary, sometimes considered a mixed language. Lingu Linguageral Amazonica and Linguageral Paulista, important historical languages spoken in colonial Brazil, composed mainly of Amerindian, predominantly Tupi, lexicon and Portuguese structure. Danish grammar and semantics with German vocabulary. Nipsic, Low Saxon grammar, pronunciation, pragmatic, loan words, and substrate, and German vocabulary. The Cather Malay, Nipsic Malay, and Nakasari elements. Both, a mixture of French and Swiss German spoken in the Bastille district of Fribourg, Switzerland. Possible mixed languages with a Chinese element. Wutunghua, a mix of Chinese and Mongol. Dao, Chinese, Tibetan. E, a mix of one of the Zhuang languages and Pinghua Chinese. Lingling and Maojia, Mandarin, Miao. Pingwang, Mandarin, Santa. Waxie, Chinese, Miao. Epo, Uyghur, Mandarin. Elphiglish, Hockey and Tagal of English. Con controversy. In 1861, Max Muller denies the possibility of a mixed language. In 1881, William D. Whitney wrote the following, expressing skepticism regarding the chances of a language being proven a mixed language. Such a thing is the adoption on the part of one tongue, by a direct process, of any part or parts of the formal structure of another tongue has, so far as is known, not come under the notice of linguistic students during the recorded periods of language history. So far as these are concerned, it appears to be everywhere the case that when the speakers of two languages, A and B, are brought together into one community, there takes place no amalgamation of their speech into A B, but for a time the two maintain their own several identities, only as modified each by the admission of material from the other in accordance with the ordinary laws of mixture, we may call them of and B A, and not A B. W. E. 
shall doubtless meet now and then with the claim that such and such a case presents peculiar conditions which separate it from the general class, and that some remote and difficult problem in language history is to be solved by admitting promiscuous mixture. Anyone advancing such a claim, however, is it in peril. The burden of proof is upon him to show what the peculiar conditions might have been, and how they should have acted to produce the exceptional result. He will be challenged to bring forward some historically authenticated case of analogous result, and his solution, if not rejected altogether, will be looked upon with doubt and misgiving until he shall have complied with these reasonable requirements. Wilhelm Schmidt was an important proponent of the idea of mixed languages in the very late 19th and early 20th century. In the judgment of Thomas Sibiak, Schmidt produced not a scrap of evidence for his theory. Margaret Schlauch provides a summary of the various objections to Schmidt's theory of Sprach Miss Chung. By prominent linguistics, such as Alfredo Trombetti, Antoine Milet, and A. Kolodovic. Despite the old and broad consensus that rejected the idea of a mixed language, Thomason and Kaufman in 1988 proposed to revive the idea that some languages had shared genealogy. Meekins, who finds Thomason and Kaufman's account credible, suggests that a mixed language results from the fusion of usually two source languages, normally in situations of thorough bilingualism, so that it is not possible to classify the resulting language as belonging to either of the language families that were its sources. Despite these recent efforts to rehabilitate mixed languages as an idea, many linguists remained unconvinced. For example, Van Dream rejects one by one each of Thomason and Kaufman's examples, as well as those more recently proposed. Most recently, Verstig rejects the notion of a mixed language, writing that at no point is it necessary to posit a category of mixed languages. In the opinion of linguist Martin Mouse, the notion of mixed languages has been rejected because mixed languages pose a challenge to historical linguistics because these languages defy classification. One attitude towards mixed languages has been that they simply do not exist and that the claims for mixed languages are instances of a naive use of the term. The inhibition to accept the existence of mixed languages is linked to the fact that it was inconceivable how they could emerge, and moreover, their mere existence posited a threat to the validity of the comparative method in genetic linguistics. This is brought to you by the strange, the bizarre, the unusual. I like it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We love feedback. Thank <laughs> you.